Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session part 4 on Fourier cosine and sine transform. Let us go into the session. Find the Fourier sine transform of e power minus ax and hence find the Fourier cosine transform of x into e power minus ax. Let us find the Fourier sine transform of e power minus ax. We have did already, just we have a quick recap. Here the function f of x is e power minus ax. Substituting this and recollecting the formula integral 0 to infinity e power minus ax sin bx dx is equal to b by a square plus b square. Now comparing the formula with our problem, here b should be replaced by s. So s divided by a square plus s square or we can rewrite this as s divided by s square plus a square. So this is the Fourier sine transform of e power minus ax. Next we have to find Fourier cosine transform of x into e power minus ax. For this we have to know the property Fourier cosine transform of x into any function f of x is going to be d by ds of Fourier sine transform of f of x. If the question is asked in terms of sine transform, then Fourier sine transform of f of x into x is equal to minus d by ds of Fourier cosine transform of f of x. So, I had to remember students, if it is cosine transform, we get plus. If it is sine transform, we get minus. So now in this problem we have Fourier cosine transform. Just now we found Fourier sine transform of e power minus ax. Substitute it and 2 by root pi is constant I can take outside. Now we have to apply u by v rule. So square root of 2 by pi in the denominator we have s square plus a square whole square. In the numerator we have to apply v du minus u dv because the formula is differentiation of u by v is v du minus u dv divided by v square. So we just keep s square plus a square and differentiation of s is 1 minus s into differentiation of s square plus a square is 2s. Simplifying this we get a square minus s square in the numerator. The denominator we have s square plus a square all square. Therefore, the solution for Fourier cosine transform of x into e power minus ax is given below. Sometimes they will simply ask the question find the Fourier cosine transform of x into e power minus ax. In this case, we have to recall the property that Fourier cosine transform of x into f of x is d by ds of Fourier sine transform of f of x. So for this first we have to find Fourier sine transform of the given function f of x and then you have to use the property. So in the similar way find the sine transform of x into e power minus ax. This is our question. For this I need Fourier cosine transform of e power minus ax first. So let us write the Fourier cosine transform formula and then substitute the values. Recall the formula and we can get square root of 2 by pi into a by s square plus a square. Just now we deal if it is Fourier sine transform then we get a minus minus d by ds of Fourier cosine transform of e power minus ax. You can see the numerator is constant. Then we have to remember the differentiation of 1 by x power n is minus n by x power n plus 1. Now we can take the constants out that is minus root 2 into a divided by root pi. When you apply the formula we get minus 1 divided by s square plus a square whole square and then s square plus a square differentiation is 2s. Simplifying this we get 2 root 2 as divided by root pi s square plus a square whole square. That's it students. Next, we can ask simply find the Fourier sine transform of x into e power minus ax. And you should not write directly the answer fc of e power minus ax is square root of 2 by pi a by a square plus a square. First of all, you have to derive this and hence you have to use the property to find this. And sometimes we can see some simple problems. Find the Fourier cosine transform. Here the function is given in the different interval. Now in the interval 0 to 1 it is x and in the interval 1 to 2 it is going to be 2 minus x and in the remaining intervals it is 0. So now we have to split the problem into 0 to 1, 1 to 2, after 2 it is going to be 0 so we don't want to worry about it. Now we have to apply Bernoulli's formula individually 
for this two integrations integral 0 to 1 x into cos sx dx so we know the bernoulli's formula integral u dv is equal to uv minus u dash v1 plus u double dash v2 etc since the power of x is 1 we'll get only two terms in the answer so let us take u equal to x u dash is equal to 1 u double dash is 0 on the other hand dv is equal to cos sx dx integrating this we get v is equal to sin sx by s again integrating v we get minus cos sx divided by s square now we have to substitute this in the formula and all the remaining terms get zero after u dash in the similar way now we have to apply bernoulli's formula for 2 minus x into cos sx dx in this case we are going to have 2 minus x as my u so we get 2 minus x u dash is minus 1 u double dash is 0 now we have to substitute this in the formula our next job is to substitute the upper and lower limit for both the terms so when i substitute the upper limit we get 1 into sin s by s minus into minus s plus cos s by s square when you come for the lower limit sin 0 is 0 minus into minus plus cos 0 is 1 so we get 0 plus 1 by s square so this is for the first term similarly for the second term we have to substitute the upper and lower limit when i substitute upper limit 2 2 minus 2 0 then minus into minus into minus is minus when i substitute this we get cos 2s by s square when i apply the lower limit 2 minus 1 is 1 so we get sin s by s minus cos s by s square now simplifying this i can cancel sin s by s with minus sin s by s so square root of 2 by pi cos s by s square is repeated twice so i can put 2 cos s by s square minus 1 by s square minus cos 2s by s square you don't want to simplify this further we can write the answer hope you understand in the similar way we have a problem on fourier sine transform now we have to write the fourier sine transform formula and split the problem in this case also we have to apply bernoulli's formula individually for this two integrals now let us take u is equal to x then u dash is 1 u double dash is 0 dv is sin sx dx integration of sin is minus cos sx by s again integrating v we get v1 that is minus sin sx by s square now in the similar way we have to integrate integral 2 minus x sin sx dx next we have to apply the upper and lower limits for each term now substituting the upper limit in the first term we get 1 into minus cos s by s minus into minus plus sin s by s square when we go for the lower limit we know sin 0 is 0 cos 0 is 1 but we have x here so we have 0 plus 0 this is my first term when we go for the second term when we apply the upper limit 2 minus 2 this will become 0 and minus into minus into minus is minus sin 2s by s square so we get 0 minus sin 2s by s square when we apply the lower limit 2 minus 1 is 1 minus cos s by s minus sin s by s square simplifying this we can cancel cos s by s with minus cos s by s and then we can add this two terms finally we get the answer square root of 2 by pi 2 sin s minus sin 2s divided by s square we don't want to simplify further hope you understand students thanks for watching Hope you found this video helpful. Subscribe to our channel and share it to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye bye.